Case study. Somebody calls me at the dialysis clinic and it's a Saturday. And it's a peritoneal dialysis patient, so my PD nurse is off for the weekend and she needs to enjoy her weekend off. So I need to know what to do when somebody calls me and says I have a leak in my catheter. Number one, I am going to ask them to get their emergency clamp kit. And I am going to tell them to clamp the catheter between them and the leak. So if they have a leak right here, here's the transfer set. They have a leak right here. They're gonna clamp between the leak and them. The clamp is an important part of this emergency kit because if there's a leak here, they're gonna leak or bacteria is gonna come in, you know? Clamp it. What's next? Oh, see, now we wanna prevent the infection. We need to prevent bacteria coming in because what if it was a cat bite or a dog bite or like, who knows, something that caused the leak? A dirty scissors. So now they're gonna go into their kit and they are going to wrap betadine swabs around the leak. So cute, emergency clamp kit. This is what our clamp looks like. So cute. Betadine gauze. So this is, you have a hole right there. So I need to clamp it. So let's pretend this is me or, you know, I'm in the emergency room or something. I'm gonna clamp it. Grab the clamp, so I'm gonna clamp between them and the hole to stop the leak. Got my betadine? Thank you. I'm gonna wrap it around the hole. Betadine around the hole. Wrap gauze around it. So this is gonna help prevent peritonitis. Very important. What are some symptoms of peritonitis? Abdominal pain, cloudy, cloudy effluent, fever. Ooh, fever. Wow. So that's what you instruct the patient to do if they call you and they have a leak in their tubing. So then now they come in. They come in and this is what it looks like. 